All right, what up, everybody? So uh, I've been using peptides a lot uh, more lately, um, a lot, a lot more, uh, especially with my regen patients. And so I wanted just to take a second here to give you a little insight onto uh, kind of how I'm, I'm dosing those and, and what I'm considering. Um, uh, I'll keep this one brief, just because it's been a long day and I'm ready to get home, but the, uh, the number one peptide that I'm using in conjunction with my, uh, my regen injection, so whether it's Prolo, PRP, not using it as much for like perineural, um, and, uh, but I am using it for nerve hydrodissection. Um, but so our, we got our Prolo, PRP, our stem case, definitely our stem cases, our nerve hydrodissection uh, is BPC. Um, I get a lot of questions about uh, injectable BPC versus oral BPC. Um, and unless you are uh, actually taking the BPC and doing an injection with that BPC in the way we do, we would do Prolo or PRP or something like that, you're not getting a local effect if you subcutaneously inject the BPC over the knee or over the low back or something like that because it's not going to penetrate down all the way through those layers uh, to actually get to the MCL or you know the SI joint if, if that's what the patient's wanting with a subcutaneous injection. Yes, you can do that with your longer needles, you know, that we use day in and day out, but subcutaneous doesn't really impact uh, efficacy of BPC. And so I generally just go for oral uh, because it's easier for patients to use. They save cost on uh, injectable or like the syringes and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, tailor-made compounding is the compounding pharmacy I use. It's basically the only source that I trust here in the U.S. Uh, it was actually just sent a uh, a website today asking me if this uh, website was legit for peptides and um, they were selling BPC for like a tenth of the cost of what it costs through a uh, compounding pharmacy and um, that just scares the hell out of me because I don't know purity because they, they don't say anything about well they claim purity but they won't give any uh, you know uh, mass spec or HPL, HPLC or anything like that on their purity, I get concerned about sterility. Are they cutting corners? Is it even dosed appropriately? Just a whole bunch of stuff. And TaylorMade, they're great. Um, and uh, I really like them, so I, that's who I use. Um, so uh, in terms of dosing, generally I'm doing 500 micrograms once a day. Um, I have experimented a little bit with 250 micrograms twice a day, uh, but I think the 500 microgram uh, once a day uh, works pretty well. Uh, the effects of BPC uh, are reported to last about six hours, which is actually a good thing because we want this kind of cycle of, uh, of cycling on and cycling off. We don't want BPC constant. Um, and so I think the, the once a day is, is super sufficient. Um, generally for most patients, post PRP or stem cells, generally doing it for about four weeks if it's a larger case. So, you know, we're doing an adipose stem cell procedure, and then we're treating you know anywhere from three to four joints. Generally, you're gonna have those patients on BPC. Um, uh, we may do other peptides as well, but generally gonna be on the BPC for about uh, uh, two months at that point, uh, just because they have to go through more tissue healing. Um, so that's BPC, that's how I, uh, I'm using it right now. Uh, results are really, really phenomenal. Um, and another thing that has been working for me well too is, if you have a case where you do an injection and you are pretty confident in your diagnosis, you are pretty confident in the needle location and your placement, but the patient is, isn't having a great response, even if it's a few weeks out, toss in some BPC. Um, I'll generally do that for patients if you know at the, the four week mark, they're not where I think they should be based on my experience and all that kind of stuff. We'll toss in some BPC for a month and uh, I think I've had that on four occasions now and three of the patients started to have a, a climb in their improvement. And so uh, that seems to be working pretty well on those stubborn cases. All right, everyone. Hope you liked it. See you.